All right, ladies and gentlemen, today's lesson is comparing and scaling 3.3. And today's lesson is all about unit rates and equations. Your lesson is on page 36 and 37, A through E. Your problems are ACE, 9, 11, 24 through 26, and 34. And your learning target, well, I forgot to update it. It should really be... It should really be, I can find and use unit rates. Sorry about that, I forgot to update it while I was working on this. All right, next, ladies and gentlemen, is our notes. And our notes are, look like this. We have Lesson 3.3 notes. They take pay, place on page 36. We need to make sure we have our name, date, and crew. And our big heading for today is unit rates. Now, unit rates. Unit rates is a ratio where one of the values has a value of 1. Basically, we set a value against 1. And my big example is 50 miles per hour. Now think of miles per hour, liters per gallon, um, feet per second, um, chicken wings per order, you know, calories per serving. Anytime we do per, we're basically saying this many for every one of these. Every time we say one of these, it's basically a ratio. So finding unit rates is easy. You divide one unit by another unit. And the hint I'm going to give you is every time you hear per, think divide. So for instance, if there are, if I have uh, six slices of pizza, that I needed to divide up among three people, I want to know slices per person. Well, I take the number for slices and divide by the number of people. So slices per person, and I get two slices per person. So here's some examples. 300 miles were driven in six hours. What is my unit rate in terms of miles per hour? Well, this is going to be easy. I take 300, because again, miles comes first, and I divide miles by 6, because I want miles per hour. Number of miles divided by hours. And I end up getting 50 miles per hour. Not too fast. But then I have 500 miles were driven in 10 hours. Well, same thing. Miles is my unit rate, so miles comes first, miles divided by hours, and I get 50 miles per hour. How about that? And this one actually comes from my own car. I had I used 10 gallons of gas on 360 miles. I want to know the miles per gallon. Now what comes first, miles or gallons? Well, miles comes first, so I do 360 divided by 10, because I want miles divided by gallons, miles per gallon. And I end up getting 36 miles per gallon. I must have been driving pretty fast. Usually I get about 38. Well, moving on. How do we solve problems using this? How do we scale up? Well, it's really, really easy to scale up. You just have to multiply. You have an equi It's really easy to make equivalent ratios, to make equivalent fractions, when one of your numbers is 1, because 1 multiplies by everything. So, for example, Mr. Briggs wants to go to Sturgis on his moped. Now, for those of you that don't know, Sturgis is one of the most amazing motorcycle rallies, get-togethers in the world. Imagine millions of bikers going to South Dakota and hanging out. Well... I've always had this dream of packing up my moped and going to Sturgis on my moped just to see what those bikers would do. So I only go 30 miles per hour, and Sturgis is 798 miles away. How many hours will it take me to get there? Well, first I have to set up my problem. I'm going to do miles. I'm going to do hours. Now, I already know my unit rate, 30 miles for every one hour. And I know how many miles I want to go. I know I want to go 798 miles. So the question is, how many hours will it take? Well, I need to figure out how many times will 30 go in 
to 798. So I take 798 and divide it by 30. And what I end up getting is about 26.6 as my answer. So it's going to take me 26.6 at the top, 26.6 at the bottom, and I just do 1 times 26.6, and my answer is 26.6. That's easy. So it's going to take me 26.6 hours, nonstop, not including bathroom breaks, not including sleep, not including food, not including uh, stopping at gas stations to fill up my gas tank to get to the Sturgis Motorcycle Rally from Madison, Wisconsin. If I break that down to about eight hours per day, well, what would it be? Eh, it's going to take me about three or four days to get there. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and do our coursework now. Our coursework is Lesson 3.3 Practice. Lesson, the lesson is on page 36 and 37. Problems A through E. Your ACE problems are going to be 9, 11, 24 through 26, and 34. All right, ladies and gentlemen, have a fun night.